EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Well, here we are at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the Sunshine State, Florida. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabolo for EA Sports. Frank, what stands out when you look at the wetlands? The swampland, the gators, um, really it's a good driving golf course, Rich. Not a lot of fairway bunkers in play here at Wetlands, but um, you, if you drive the ball well here, you can, really can get a good score out here at Wetlands. Uh, they play the web.com here every now and again, so um, we've seen some good scores over the years, but uh, always fun to be playing in uh, Florida. Sun on your back, warm golf conditions. So on this back nine, we started with a par three, then a par four, and now we get to a par five. The 12th is 576 yards. Yeah, nice blend of holes there that you've just referenced. 11 bends to the left, consequently 12 will bend in the other direction. Good drive required. Um, from there, just setting up perhaps, uh, you know, seven iron, six iron into a green that's sort of fairly uniform in shape and uh, should present a birdie with a good second shot. 315. Nice position, short grass, second shot. As he strides up here to the 12th green, having hit it in regulation, he knows now that his work is by no means done. A long putt coming up. This is a cross-country special. Well, this one's tracking. That's good. I like it. Oh, they're going to love it. What a putt. Let's go down now to hole number 13. And as we catch up with our featured golfer, Frank, really putting together a solid round. An important stretch of holes coming up here late in this round, too. And uh, to post a score makes such a big difference. That score will stand in good stead at the end of the day. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Yeah, about 145 yards left here. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. Settles in over the putt. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. Moving on to the tricky 14th here at the Wetlands. It's 204 yards, but there is plenty of trouble out there. for birdie after that beautiful shot. We'll make birdie if this drops. Starting to make a nice move. Birdie and four under par for the tournament.
Final par five on the backside here at the wetlands. It's 590 yards. Which is really a tempting yardage. A good tee shot, perhaps. Think of reaching the par five and two. But uh, this green, well protected by three bunkers. Two on the left side and one short right. But uh, uh, fortune favours the brave. At least that's what I was told. That's a good spot right there. Center cut. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. Well on the green, but far from the hole. Yeah, a little bit of a head scratcher. A lot of work coming up here. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Nudge this one home, finish it up. <laughs> Always nice to be comfortably inside that cut line, the Wiley golf instructor makes birdie. Frank, you surprised to see that name on top of the leaderboard. I am surprised to see the name, but not that style of golf leading. Uh, it was great performance, especially tee to green. Um, you don't often see people start that quickly.
EA Sports is proud to present PGA Tour coverage. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf course for a start, Rich, hey, golf course just over 7,700 yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. And of course, the cliffs, that's why it's called this, they certainly are in play. There is one double you having a better day today? That's the 10th and the 13th hole. They share the same green. Lots of great design features, and you've got it on a prime in great condition. So, enjoy the round. And make sure you feast on the vistas as well. Yeah, I'm just making sure you can hear me. This could be really good, Frank. Straight at it. Frank, not Ooh. the longest hitter. I'm glad you feel better. You I was worried about you. Putting it in good spot, and that's oh, the puppy. Right here, oh, the cute yards puppy. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. Oh, 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 oh. My puppy impression. Oh, bless him. Has he been snuggling up to you? <laughs> you were going to go online earlier today, but you felt like there will be rain. Take your shot, David. Did you? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. Poochie was just saying that her, her puppy's been with with her today, and she said that, that it was raining, and she said he has no idea what's going on, but he tries because he's only a little puppy, oh, obviously. Right. Bless him. Yeah, I did actually. Thank you. I know this one now. You've taught me this up enough. Yeah. Poochie just asked, how's mum and dad? Dad's alright. My dad just said, he's alright. She's our moderator, Pooch. This is the second the shot, shot so at the par four. She looks after our channel. Oh, that's our thing. We get any trouble on there, she sorts them out. Oh, I see. That's the moderator. Yeah, she's brilliant, Pooch. Salutes. Salutes. <laughs> yes, sir. Ready for affirmative action, sir. Now, oh, um, you need to come back, Dad. So, are you going to get him a, um, are you going to get him a little collar soon, Pooch? That's all right. You can chip it in from there, no problem. Into the thick stuff. That's a difficult lie. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. You know, this is a green light special. Oh God. Well, I did it before. You can go in between the trees, David. I took a risk game one time and that, and it happened. I got through all right. It's no. A risk a shot, but what you do is drop down, you lower your, your trajectory, you know what I mean? What do you call a moderator? Not, what, what is she? Oh uh, yeah, Peachy's our moderator, she she looks after our channel. Yeah, and how does she in, in, what's she looking out for? 
So basically, if we have any trouble on our channel, Poochie will be the one to... Like, what, verbal or something? Yeah, so if somebody comes on and starts spamming or anything... Oh, That's an absolute beauty. A collar, yeah, a collar. Mm. Yeah, Poochie just said, I ban trolls. <laughs> So Rainforest you get people who come on there and like... And how do you know? Close. How do you find them out? Like, you, oh, yeah, we know oh because you get people who come on and they'll say like not nice things or oh, they'll just come on to just be rude. And the thing with Poochie, see I've made her a moderator, it's blue. She's been she's been a moderator for weeks now. Oh. Poochie will be able to... She keeps the chat clean. That's good, I like you know. that. That's and we've got, obviously we've got people like... She Sil should be commended. She, is, she should be commended, she's a great moderator. Yeah, good. And it's Silver, he's he's another great guy because he's been with me right from the beginning, just like Pooch. He's just on here as well. And so if you play games, you oh yeah, 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 definitely. This is a good looking shot. Like that, like that, like that. Frank, that was a pretty good shot right there. He was done well to minimize. Oh, you make him wear a harness. Hey, hey, Silver. Hey, keep him, buddy. You'll need to be strong with this. I'm doing good, Silver. We don't want to hurt his neck. No, of course you don't. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at that. Oh. Locked in on the read and the speed. How are you keeping, Silver? don't know if you can hear that guys my dad said his his back because my dad has a lot of back problems and um, he, he said it's really sore at the moment. I see an osteopath see, uh, three or four times a year. Yeah, he sees an osteopath. Very good, you know. It's when I used to work in factories, heavy lifting and all that type of stuff work, you know. I'm only a little guy, but I used to lift. <laughs> yeah, he, yes, my dad said he's only a little guy, but he, he used to lift. Lift, push and... He's a big, uh, strong guy, though. Uh, it tells in the end. Yeah. It Frank does. The green, no, of course that's fine, Silver. Yeah, it does. So, uh, you what he's thinking I on never that. had that in the, the service in the airport. Didn't have that because you, you know, it was different type of... You wouldn't... Like factory work in a bit. No. <laughs> my, dad, my dad was in Cyprus and stuff when, when he was in the Air Force. And the Gulf. And, the Gulf and, and everything. So he, uh, he didn't really have any problems like that. So you know, because he was moving around the world. Well, you start and working for a living, then. It's <laughs> Whoop, it's yeah. Just taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough. Oh. oh. And it is it's not, not looking like a good line. Hey. Oh, I don't believe it. Why did that help? And yet we used to do this before. We used to like almost a hole in one. Remember that yeah. one, David? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're trying to find... Oh, that's going in. Well done. Oh, no! Yeah, it went... Why did it not drop on the bloody hole? I know. And that's over around the flag, and there's... Oh, I'm not going in today, sorry. it. <laughs> we're trying to find Poochie... Uh, a cheap... Because che Poochie lives in, in America, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to find her online a cheap PS4. Because she, she, she wants a PS4. We're trying to find one because it's it's difficult to find them at a cheap price. Um, but I know a few Japanese websites, um, and if you you know, there's a few links and stuff that you have to go through and all that. Like good ones, not tacky ones or anything. But it's difficult because it's it's easier to get a cheap PS4 in the UK because we've got all these places like 
than a par three. Argos and stuff and like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, PT World, yeah. Yeah, but they're still cheaper than a lot of other places. And then we've also got the supermarkets as well. Whereas, I don't... Yeah, no, PS4, of course they do, they're huge in America, but the difference in America is that... Have they still got Betamax? Have they still got Betamax? <laughs> it's still a beat of max. Do you know what I mean about that? You've had a beat of max, haven't you, Pooch? Remember that going back? VHS and, and beat of max. Uh, beat of max was the American version, wasn't it? Of, of VHS. The, VHS, yeah, VHS was Japanese and beat of max. Yeah, yeah. And even though VHS took over, beat of max actually was better. Absolutely clear. It was like HD compared to two. Yeah. Beat of max was. Oh, the picture was fantastic. And yet it was a cheat. They didn't have it over here. VHS had all the movies and all the... But Betamax was more... Betamax didn't. Yeah, well, but... The I, parody was much more... Yeah. Far greater. She said VHS was, was there as well. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah VHS. We, well, we VHS had a bit... VHS took over, didn't they? Yeah, I remember, because I, I grew up at a, a Betamax um, pooch when I was a kid, and I always wanted a VHS, because all the, the, the big cartoons you could get on the VHS in the video store. Yeah, much more of a choice. Much more of a choice, and I remember when my dad finally got a VHS recorded, do you remember? Yeah. And I went down, the first thing I did was go down and I, I rented the He-Man and She-Ra movie. And couldn't do it on the Vitamax. You couldn't do it on the Vitamax. It's restricted, isn't it? Yeah, and I went down and hired all the Looney Tunes cartoons. That was back of one, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. That's a hundred years ago, Dave. BMX here is like biking. BMX. Yeah, BMX. <laughs> We've got BMXs. I had a BMX. Yeah. I had a Rally Striker and a BMX. Mm. I had a BMX Bandit, I, I think. Um, and then I had a, a, a Rally Striker. Which you prefer? Which one would be that? I preferred my Rally Striker. It was a great mountain bike. Frank, this one's uh, not looking good. Certainly not down the fairway line, hitting toward the rock. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. It's in the cabbage. It's in the cabbage. And from the fairway. BMX was great. Shot. Up, up. Do you want me to put them on there? <coughs> That's an excellent shot, David, on a par five. Excellent shot. No problem, Pooch. Two short eagle attempts on the way. All sitting down here with the rock and digging in. How are you, Silver, anyway? You keeping alright, pal? Good swing, good shot, yet again. Ooh. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here. But this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. Oh, what a get some power Just huh? to keep it steady here over the putt. Minus one, and where are they going? Frank, as we stand here at the fourth and look out, no mistaking where we're at. I know I'm having some lobster for dinner tonight. Oh, some clam chowder. The best comes from this area. Um, well, actually, for the ocean, though, anything that strays a little left off this tee will find that ocean. And believe me, there's been more than one ball hit down there. Generous fairway, that's really the goal, and the tiniest of green. If you find the green, you're going to have a birdie putt. Very short one indeed.
That was just a beautiful drive. He hit it solid and right in the middle. Frank, when you look at great rivalries in sports, you realize that athletes need each other. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to achieve greatness, to achieve legendary status. And in golf, Tom Watson needed Jack Nicklaus to push him to another level. And also to define an era. Uh, without one, we couldn't think of the 80s or the 90s or the 2000s or the 2010s. You need those players to define that era. So you need competition. Competition is not without rivalry. Hey, Pooch. Hey, Mr. Bus, and you could ask me how about Yeah. How you keeping, Pooch? <laughs> no, no. I, I don't know if you noticed, Pooch, but I, sometimes I mention you in my thumbnails now. I'll say, like, moderated by Pooch and stuff. But I'd love to do, like, a little cartoon of your avatar. Um, yeah, this game is fun. Yeah, it is great fun. Um, what I was going to do was going to put a little... Uh, so I was going to take your avatar and put it down in, in the bottom of the screen like a little poochie and then um, and then put your your pooch your puppy next to you sort of thing so you two are like the moderators this is way left going left and that one's going to be in the rough it looks like not enough on that one yeah, just seems a baby poochie was asking if this game is fun uh, it's brilliant shot. like we, we've been playing uh, as my dad said it's very relaxing we've been playing a lot of everybody's golf over the past few months but we've come back to this um but uh i'm going to be getting everybody's golf virtual reality because it's a free add-on you don't have to pay for it um as long as you've got everybody's golf so that'll be fun to try yo what's up this hero Hey, dude! I was watching your um, I was watching your uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas again earlier. Trying to make clean contact from the rough. Remember, Dad? We 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 played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Oh God, yeah. That was your favourite one. You remember? Are you watching the football right now? Who? Who you sup? Who you? Who are you supporting, for real? Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. <sighs> wow, I thought he made Damn. it. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Yeah, real. He he streams a lot of Grand Theft Auto, <coughs> which my dad is a massive Grand Theft Auto fan, aren't you, Dad? <laughs> Trevor from Grand Theft Auto Five is one of my dad's favorite characters. Oh, he's a Bears fan. Well, good effort. Yeah, it's horrible. Now with the fifth year at Lighthouse Point to par four, Frank, what are we in store for? When you stand on this tee, Rich, you don't see any fairway bunkers, but be careful, it can certainly fool you. The goal really with the Cliffs course is to find fairways. You had a knee, didn't you? Yeah. How's Cal Mack getting on, by the way? Real. No, 
though. She's asking oh, real oh, something. Oh, left shit. Left. Not on the fairway here. This could be a tough shot coming up next. Yeah, no, I know. How's Kel Mack coming on with his injury? Because he didn't eat. Good season here. Good shot, guys. Much better than mine. Really good I'm not even going to get onto the yard. Yeah. No, I'm on. I'm in the rough. Way Frank, in the rough. You do There's no way. From the rough in terms of your no way. No. You can get there in two. I don't need to get there. Three. Down. It's going to go down through the grass. Yeah, did the thing there, yeah, because he's, he's not doing. Um, wasn't he? Wasn't he undergoing surgery? Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely. I wasn't sure whether he was still playing. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just. Oh, sorry. Going to carry on to play. Don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Because he's been amazing, isn't he? Because I remember when they were um, that when they played against the um, Dolphins on Sunday. And what about uh, what's his name? Um, oh, Brock Osweiler. They kept wow. him the full well, game, didn't they? In this rough over there. Yeah, it looks like it's in the rough there, Frank. Frank. Right. It might not and be as bad as it looks. Steeply up the hill here. This is going to play very well. That's where it was. Maybe. Yep. Oh, shit. Mm. I'm thinking about um, this. Oh, by the way, did you know that um, real? Did you know that Madden 19 is really cheap at the moment? Just so I thought I'd let you know. I don't know whether it is over in in the states, but over here in the UK, there's a massive tri there's a massive price drop on Madden 19. Oh, like you I believe it's 29 right quid over here. Oh, oh sorry, God, Dad. This is way too much. Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Gonna take some skill now. Need to pull back in the one, don't you? Oh, no. Oh, shit! Dog shit, that's fair. This from seven feet. See that? I could have been. I should have won it. Keeps the yeah, momentum going with that putt. Stays at three under. Just a tap in to finish the hole. So with that, the score is now at even par. Par three six is relatively short, 198 yards, Frank. But this one really, you've got to go airborne here. That bunker that protects the left side and front. You've got That's to okay, real. You carry on, buddy. Get it to no problem. Off so it doesn't skip through the back of the screen. Oh, Poochie. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, looks like. Well, that's how it's done. Real hero the said, tell your dad I said he's the man. Good luck. He said, thank you very much. He's a magic wand at the moment. Hmm. My dad said he needs a magic wand at the moment. Hey Pooch, do you mind if I put you in the in the thumbnail, like say moderated by Poochie? You know? Headed for the bunker? Well, he'll have to get up and down. To the pull right back and then go. Not quite what he wanted. Don't flick it. Don't do that. Don't go. All right, so yeah. green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Yeah. Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't okay, because I like if you didn't want me to put on there, I totally understand. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a puck, you never oh. know. It might just go in. Wow, what a shot! 
doesn't even need the party. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Yeah, because if you look back on my thumbnails on uh, past few videos, there's... You have to like that. Let me have a look. Uh, I can't remember which one it is, but I think it's... We all love the shorter par fours. There's so many decisions to be made here at 7. Uh, if you look at the scorecard, it's not very long, but when you start to... It's Astrobot. Right uh, let's play VR it's World 2. If you have a look at that, you're so on there. Really, the yeah, it's all good. It's, all good. it's just a short iron in, and you should be looking at birdie. Hey, Pooch, have you ever seen Ready Player One? I was showing my dad the other day about the whole world of virtual reality and, right like... The of the pack. Did um, you hear that? Oh, my dad loved it. He thought it was brilliant because it reminded us. It reminded him of us. Hey, like it's, 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 it's really good. Rich, if you and I had lives like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Getting set for another approach, our featured golfer really looks dialed in at this point. Yeah, right now this is a great feeling to have as a, as a golfer. Your swing's good, the timing, it's almost like it's just completely natural. You don't have to think. The swing is exactly where you want it to be. So really you're just looking at the flag in front of you. Oh! Hit the bloody hole and You've got to be kidding me. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good looking birdie. Why should that happen? Bounced on the hit in the hole. Ready for a second shot, shot, trying to knock it on the green. At least you should stay next to it. I did that and it bounced away. I did the same thing. So, I know, I, I just pulled back right at the last minute, like I went yeah, like that. Yeah, otherwise I didn't. It's that sneaky distance. No, I was learning from your shot. I can... Oh no! Nice. Good looking putt, just not falling right now. Absolutely, he's going to be disappointed. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the yeah, round. Yeah, it's on World Two. Sorry, Pucci. Um, let's play after a bottom VR World Two. It's the one with me stood in front of the beach, and I've got the controller with the red light. And then at the bottom of it, ah, uh, it's probably because the the timestamp is. The timestamp is there, it's right below it. The timestamp is in front of it, but it says moderated by Pucci. Did I do... We, I think I did another one with you as well. No, I just want to give you the recognition you deserve, because... But you're also on the Spider-Man PS4 one. Um, if you look at the Spider-Man PS4 Pro one, it says... You can see that. It says fun with Pucci, Spider, BVD Gaming, blah, 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 blah. A dooby 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 doo. A dabba 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 da. Ah. Just an amazing display, the records continue to fall. Well, a bit unusual. A third par three now on this front side. We're at the eighth. It's 165 yards, Frank. You're and amazing. Preachy, I don't know what I do without you. Honestly, you, you, you support me so much. I was just saying it to my dad the other day. I said, like, you know, you're such a kind person. You know, and that, that counts for so much these days. You know, and that's why I want to, like, help you out and stuff. And, like, when you're looking for a PS4 and that is because you, you're, so, you, you're so good to me and that, you know, because I, I feel like I owe it to you almost. Well, I would. I, I like to look out for my friends anyway, so... Poor old dad, he's in a lot of pain. Okay. I go on it? Yeah. Oh, oh God. Right, said he. There we go. Oh, right, said he. Shite, says I. And we all had a good time. <laughs> Frank, this, this is, is good, good golfing, golfing weather. Nice, strong, strong breeze. breeze. Wow. Oh my god. 
Oh. What a shot. Nearly hole in one. <sighs> I was just saying to Pooch, like, she's here every stream we have. She always comes on and says hello point. and moderates and looks after the channel. Every, every, and she does it for other people. How many people would you be looking at? Uh, uh, just who, like whoever, like whenever it comes on. So all the people from YouTube that are watching, and then you got the other lot as well on the other side. So she will look after the YouTube side of things. How can you monitor so many people? Because if they come in and they leave any dodgy comments or anything, or just make nice, she she can. Yeah, she. I, I've given now her the the, five, the power. She's a moderator. See, she's in blue. I made her a moderator. So if anybody causes any problems on this channel, she can ban them, or she can block the the cut. But we have a great community though. Like all the people that come on here are brilliant. Like uh, that's what I'm just saying, and that's what I was just about to say. The only reason for that is because of Pooch, because she's she's the one who's kept it friendly, she always makes sure everybody says hello to each other and stuff. And that's what the majority of people right, right, right. like. Yeah. And, and that's... the odd one or two that will make something bad for people and not to go on it. Exactly, and that's the difference... Two, you get rid of the bad apple, you get... Yeah, yeah sure. exactly. That's the difference between having a channel which, you know, like you get all these idiots that are on there. And... You know the difference it's between having that. People's fun. Yeah, exactly. You get those, and when you clean your at that lake, you get more old people. There's more good people in the world anyway. So yeah. It's the spoilers you have to get rid of to make the your link. Yeah, absolutely. Attractive. Yeah. And from well, the she just said, Poochie said, said she just said, I don't want to abuse my mod power, but you don't ever like that's that's what I'm saying, Pooch, is that you you're always so kind to people and stuff, and you always welcome people. Mm. Like somebody abusing their mod power would be somebody who's like saying, you know, you can't say this or shut up or all this kind of stuff, or I'm gonna ban you and all that, and you get idiots to be like that. Poochie's just like she'll always just. Oh, your yeah, Poochie's amazing with people. She'll always just. She welcomes everybody. She says, but "You know, when there's enough, there's enough." Like, if yeah, you hang on but that, that, I mean, that's what position. that's the reason our, our, our sub count has been going up. That is because of Pooch. Because every time somebody comes in, she'll always say, "Oh, welcome," and she'll always say, "You know, thank you to certain people," and like, you know, thank you for tuning in and all this. Like, she's just such a she. She makes people want to stay, and that's why we're lucky to have her on here. And she does it for other people as well. But, she, she moderates for other people, for other channels. It's a constant watch, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. Mm. Third, shot. Third shot. And we've got some amazing one. people, like we've got this Chris, obviously Christopher Harris is Silver, who it was on a minute ago. He's a lovely guy. He's been with us right from the beginning. Um, we've got Predator, he's, he's great. Uh, and then there's obviously Tony. Shot right here. From Philly. Oh shit! Game of Chronicles. You know they're all. We all just try and promote like a, a happy community of people. They get all getting really well together. And we try and promote like uh, supporting each other. As like none of us, we, we, we're, we're trying to blank out people who are horrible to each other. You know, because there's too much of that on the internet. Back, Just needs to keep it steady here over the pot. Oh, that looked for all the world like it was dead center. I've got no idea how that matched. Have a bad day, isn't it? Shouldn't be a problem here. That was cool. Damn. It looked like it was certainly going in. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bald. Very bald. As this is the safe part. You two could be glitching, but it's okay. Well, you can Why, see are you having problems on your end, good about what he's doing. That's a nice par putt. Stays at six under. So, we'll tap in. Look at that, look, look there, look, you're not horrible. Did Boom. the job right there. Just hanging there on the net. 
Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side. It happens all the time. Yeah, in Utica. That's right. Now is not the time to pat yourself on the back. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Um, I'm I'm on Twitch as well, Poochie. Uh, I'm Goldstar Man on uh, on Twitch. I haven't used Twitch in ages. Video. Three forty-one. Do you stream on Twitch, Poochie? Yeah, I, like the I should one. go on Twitch more oh, often, yeah. but I, it's just I'm trying to build up the whole YouTube thing, you know? Now playing the second here at the part four. No, I meant I, uh, I meant whether you were doing it on your on your on your PC or from your laptop. Poor old dad, his back is really sore. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And we'll have this for birdie. Second from an Do you want me to put some freeze gel on it? I did it. I did it. I did all that. I'm afraid. I'll take one. I'll see you Ian tomorrow anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe you should stay home tomorrow and I'll take one. And although I was talking to a PC game here where I'm not about that. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. What a shot, well done. Wow. Do you know that, David? This one just requires a little bit of focus. Great roll right there. I'll just you a pure stroke right in the heart. No kill today. Dave shot a magnet in that bloody hole. I know. He came back to YouTube and was telling me how I want to play Tekken on PC. Yeah, Tekken on PC, yeah. And with that putt, he moves to three under. <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll I'm hardly ever on there. I'm, I'm never on that on Twitch. But it's actually you know, so that's what my dad's got at the moment. He's got a Twitch, bless him. And, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting yeah. shapes of the bunkers. For example, here, nipping it in the fairway, making the driver almost too much club or very, very risky. Plus the well, we'll do something to change that, too. This is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. Frank, these days golfers are training like high-level athletes from other sports. Rory McIlroy, for example, has been using a guy by the name of Steve McGregor, who happened to be the trainer for the New York Knicks of the NBA. Ah, uh, my training now is high altitude. Um, the majority of the medal holders, for example, in the Olympics, uh, or medal winners in the Olympics, actually use high altitude training. You know, you can develop more red blood cells in a shorter period of time. But, um, you know, golf, we've had so many different types of training from the athlete side. But you go back to the old days of Henry Cotton beating an old tire. VJ Singh picked up on that. Or even the rhythm of Sam Snead. He used to count in the rhythm. It was one, two, three. Was one at the top of the swing, two at impact, oh, and three at the follow through. Oh, All those things. Oh, oh damn! That was just a gutsy shot, right? One way or the other, isn't it? Look at Eagle coming up. Yeah, we'll, we'll sort that out, Pooch. Don't worry about that. Huh? Getting the timing. Sorry, you're talking. No, that's right. You carry on. Getting the timing right is not on that one. 
See, sometimes you're better off being in the rough. You have to go up. Up. Oh, nice. Lovely shot. Try to go crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the breeze blows left to right, this whole place is very hard. Uh, one of the reasons why, just through the fairways, are littered with bunkers. Not only do you have to get the right line, but somehow you've got to get that ball the right distance. So that ball bends completely to the left. Rather interesting shape green here at 12. This is a stiff test, no doubt. Hmm. Playing golf to when we first started, I mean, they, they wouldn't know. When we, when we entered, just, a, just that dot going across the screen. Probably knows where I'm going to go. It's just a little boom, yeah. bing, boom. That was entertaining. Yeah. Now look how we've progressed. It's, incre it's incredible. Did you tell her that? Yeah. yeah, no, she can hear you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, like, um, how we've progressed, how we progressed yeah. from, like, my now dad saying about, like about the dots you, you on the screen. You can home and entertain, do loads of things in your... Now, now we can talk to people instantly yeah. across the world while we're playing games, live streaming. It, I, I remember dreaming about that when I was a kid, thinking yeah. I'd love to show people me playing fighting games. Like when I used to play Street Fighter 2 in the SNES, yeah. I remember we had this adapter thing to record games on VHS. And to watch your footage back on VHS, that, that was oh, an that, advancement. Well, kind of a buzz, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Remember Simon and I did that. We recorded a compilation of all our games. And, we, and you think, oh, look, look, we did that. Yeah, that, that, that was us. Yeah. Now, 20 years later, you can watch all, you know, record all your game footage every day. It's just amazing. That's why I, I love playing my retro games and then turning it off and going, and then going into VR or something. And you can really see the, the advancement. Like I've been streaming. Like that film. V v yeah, Ready Player One. Yeah. And th he, well, they, they acknowledge the old games in that. It's all about the Atari. Yeah. Just hit another one. And uh, in the clips and the film, they've shown you all bits of people that had, in they had, had interest in all these games. And every now and again, oh, that's Atari. Oh, that's that game. Oh, look. It's yeah. good. What do you call them? Um, King Kong. King Kong, yeah. Going back all the years over different films. And you get all that compilation of things yeah. which makes it attractive as well yeah and it's virtual reality it's yeah. oh we're in that world you know what I mean and yeah. like now we're entertaining ourselves on that we think we're playing golf on the real thing and now I agree with Spielberg that it's got to be like that I think. oh will be yeah definitely and that's it. It, we're doing it now with the heads up. then can you imagine like it's just tremendous yeah because the, the world is going to be a funny place at times when instead of going out to a park to play football, you're doing it in your home and well, get, you're still getting the pleasure. Well, th this is the thing. And like, you're not travelling, it th might be la not lazy, but it's, as long as you're happy and entertaining. Yeah, ex exactly. Like, even Poochie. That's was, the future in a sense, isn't it? Exactly. Even Poochie was saying today how it was raining yeah. and her and, and the, the puppy were in bed yeah. because it was bad weather today. Yeah, Poochie can keep herself entertained by being on YouTube and watching all the games and this stuff and all that. Like right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Oh, that's a great shot. But like you said, yeah. that's the future. Yeah, yeah. Frank, you know, this is a position where a player is absolutely ago, licking his chops here. Good chance to make a bird. This is years, when years, this game years. looks like fun. Now. Bunkers so don't seem to be in play. Yeah, it is. Really looking at right now, it's just as well. It. Yeah. It's up close. Oh, you. Oh, I could. Either that or you'd be reading, yeah. Getting set now over the putt. It's just there. It's just a uh, hands. Just. Absolutely. You know, what? That'll be the day when we get this. Now you say, well, it's like far away, isn't it? No, like when you see Ready Player. 
when you see Ready Player One, that film, that is now, really, because everybody's in virtual reality, but, like, Poochie was just saying that, you know, she does a lot of reading as well, but she, she plays a Vita games, which is, obviously, the, the handheld PlayStation, PlayStation Vita, and, um, do you remember we used to have the, 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 the Vita, the handheld PlayStation, do you remember I had the, oh, yeah, no, we had the original PSP, um, Poochie's got the, the Vita, which is the more advanced one. It's like basically a handheld PlayStation 3, basically. Mm. Almost PlayStation 4, really. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. yeah but, but, and where would you use that on a travel? Or yeah, you, yeah. A bit like the Nintendo Switch, you know, like which is portable and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But obviously with this Switch again. But the Vita is a great... The Vita is a great machine. It's, it's very underrated. It's been out for a few years now and... Uh, there's some great classics on there, isn't there, Pooch? There's some real classic games on the on the Vita. Tekken on on the Vita is incredible. Or am I thinking of that on the PSP? You can get Tekken on the on the Vita, can't you? Pardon? Okay. Nice, nice position. position, short, short grass. grass, second, second shot. shot. Oh, this is a long par five. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I, I, I'm the same as you, Peach. I... Yeah, Vita does play PS games and does remote PS4 platform play. Now yeah, that's right, yeah, that's it. That's the great thing about the Vita. Um, like that, I love the fact you can remote access with the PS4. Um, uh, do you know what my favourite thing on the Vita was? Was Uncharted. Wow, that was incredible. Uncharted on the Vita is, is superb. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Uncharted on the PS4, on the PS Vita, is an amazing technical achievement. Well, I'm saying I don't care what anybody says. Everybody agrees. It's amazing. You okay? This becomes a different kind of battle out there today with these golden abyss. That's the one. Wins. Players will have Just telling uh, Pooch about club. Uncharted. Do you remember we we loved playing this Uncharted? Oh god, yeah, it's so great, isn't it? Oh, well, Dad, I've I've got. I can't remember where we are now. We're on some obviously island or something, aren't we? Or something. Is that the one? Uncharted? Yeah, no, Uncharted. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, no, you, no, yeah, Uncharted was when we were on Uncharted Four when we went around the island in the That's boat. What I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all to do with the, yeah, the seas and the things, isn't it really? Yeah, yeah. Four, four was great. I, I agree with you, Pooch. It goes back in time, doesn't it? Yeah. That's what, yeah, yeah. Three, three was my uh, Pooch. We think exactly the same. Uh, three for me was the weakest one as well. I always thought Uncharted One was great. Uncharted Two, I think, is a masterpiece. Um, Un Uncharted 2 I thought was the um, incredible, absolute masterpiece. Uncharted 3 I agree was just about the multiplayer which is now defunct. Uncharted 4 is an absolute masterpiece again. I haven't played it on the Pro actually yet. Um, and then Lost Legacy is, is stunning but I totally agree with you and Golden Abyss on um, on Frank, a PS Vita, uh, I think that's better than like Uncharted 3. I totally agree with you. Like this. The biggest thing really I think is Golden Abyss is up there with sure number two the and number four. And if that's the game, they should re-release that on the P PS4, Golden Abyss. Uh, it's, uh, it's as good as You're totally get. right. Thank you. Ready for his third shot. Should be shot. <laughs> No, they, they. I tell you what. Do you know why they don't didn't like it? Seriously, each and I, 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 I'll say this, this a million times because it wasn't part of the lexicon of like hype. Yeah. No me. Yeah, absolutely. What? Not a gimme. <laughs> well within his range. Oh dear, dear. I thought Lost Legacy was better than. 
and I love four, but I actually think Lost Legacy is a little bit better than four. That's just my personal opinion. I thought Lost Legacy was a little bit better. Remember we played Lost Legacy? The Uncharted, the one with the two women instead of Drake. Incredible game. Now at the part three fourteen, another yeah. body of water, Frank. You could make some. No, you're thinking of them. Um, what did we do? I think what a story of today, um, the next day. Having shot under I mean, part, his daughter really was in it. Certainly, as big boy going flying around uh, the cliffs like at Lighthouse Point. You're on about this is another example of the top three two hundred and forty yards. That's uncharted four. His brother. His brother. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then he ended up in. That's really what you're going to be looking at. That front left section. Uh, I, Nadine, because we loved Nadine in, in Lost, Lost Legacy. You remember the, yeah. you remember the black girl in in Lost Legacy. She had the South African accident, accent, <laughs> accident. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. You remember her? I do. I think I do. Okay. Yeah, you remember in Lost Legacy when you ran on the rooftops with Nadine? You remember? Yes, ah, uh, yes. And she had the, the South African accent. You remember? She was great. Because she was your favourite character, you was like... Oh, getting through the windows. Her and Chloe, that's yeah. right, going through the windows. That's yeah. what Poochie's just saying, she respects Nadine. Yeah. yeah, I personally think... I, I, I never listen to reviews, honestly, Pooch, because I think... And we're the same, aren't we? We, we, we never... That. What's the yeah. point? Try it yourself, if you... Yeah. Yeah. But you get that. I, I, I just tried... The, I, I had a, 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 sh a, a, a quick, short go on the new Tomb Raider, um, but only just to see what the controls were like. And I tell you what, it's fantastic. And I've got all the other Tomb Raiders as well. And I love all my adventure games and stuff. It's like God of War as well, you know. God of War is an amazing game. You, we'll have a good time streaming uh, Tomb Raider, Dad. Yes. The new Tomb Raider. Seventeen feet. I'm not sure whether to to go back and replay the two older ones as well. That we 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 have. Curiosity, yeah. Yeah. To so play the whole story through because it's a trilogy. Oh. It's amazing. It doesn't matter how close it goes. It's an extra shot. You haven't tried no, Tomb Raider in virtual reality, have you? No. That's really good because on Rise of the Tomb Raider there's a VR yeah, option yeah, this, which is the amazing. Right, so beautiful. Yeah, the Nadine is quality. I I play a whole another game with Chloe and Nadine, and I I I know what you mean about respecting Nadine. I actually preferred Nadine to Chloe in it because Chloe always has this kind of. Point, and Frank, the is only oh, we have yeah. We still haven't. We need to continue with Yazuka Six, Dad, yeah. on the harbour. You remember in in we're, uh, we're in uh, good. Hiroshima with the baby. Right, yeah. yeah, we still have to continue with that. That's the baby for me. Yeah, that's we need to continue with that first, yeah. and then do two murder. Hiroshima. 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 Frank, that ball sitting up like it's on plush carpet. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Rich, Frank, if you and I had lies like that, we'd still, still be playing this game for a living. Really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. This is, this a, is green a green light, light special. That's all right. Pooch, that carry on. What do you have to factor in in terms of club selection and set up over the ball? Well, you're going to have to take at least an extra club um, to, to make up for that added elevation. And also, it's tougher to get onto that front foot. Oh, Jesus, I thought that was going in. Now, eight 
under on the day. Continues to roll the ball very well. It's that taxi from on the uh, I think. Is, is there one schedule for her to take a bet? That elevation is going to chew off quite a bit of yardage off the scorecard. Really, it's a good chance for a birdie hmm. on this closing stretch. V shaped green, as long as you're on the right yeah. section of the green, you have a chance for a birdie. Um, and are they scheduled to take her back as well? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Take her down back. And you can give whatever you like, money wise. Well, okay. if you think about it, you've got a taxi. get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Yeah. 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 And this is the one where I go in, I'm not going to do something silly. I'm going to aim for the flag and see what happens, okay? Okay. Because I've been running short on time. Oh. What can you do? Uh, that's I run short. Oh, no. Hey, uh, no, so no, I said, no, I'll go near it. That's the beauty of this hot. <laughs> Yeah. Like it's a catching friend. Bunker no. shot just perfectly splashes out, lands softly, and just runs up to that hole. Yeah, it's like 3D. There's the component in the strike where it's going to land, and then the third part of it is how much we're going It's in the hole. Just a sensational shot right there. He's surprised himself. He's like, I'm going to do that. Good line. Sorry. Now the 17th and Frank chance to make a birdie. Who knows? With a couple of huge pokes, you could make eagle three. This is pretty stout hole, a little bit more than 600 yards. It is, especially if that breeze comes off the water in your face. But uh, normally you protect it here because the hills on the left have blocked that breeze. Um, bunkers all the way down the right side. You can see that. But yeah, you're right. Two big hits. You might just reach this par five and two. Birdie, perhaps even eagle on a good day. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. On swing. Six hundred and ten yards. On halfway. Go. Very good. Mm. That's long. Second, Second shot, shot coming up here at the par five. That is long, yeah. yeah. So you're better off going over here. Sorry, go on. I've got about 300 yards, you've got 327. So if you get 200, it's only going to be 100 more for the flag. Look at this! What? That's amazing. You've got about 140 yards to the shot. If I get another uh, 280, 280, if I get 280 out of it, then I'll have what? 50 something. No, I'm only have 200 up. No, if I get um, 280 and another 100 yards. And I got 250. 250. I'll have 68. I'll settle with 250. Beautiful looking shot right here. <laughs> Less than a hundred yards of the hole, though. Mm. Now his third, staring right at the green. 58 yards, look. I've got about 40 yards. Another good swing, and it looks like Frank a really good shot. I've got about 40 yards. Shot. You're not going to see much better than that. Oh, right, right. Right. Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go.
This one getaway. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Oh, yes. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. You know you're in good parts. I'm not. Ridiculous. I know. What's the drop? Hello, Pooch. Ridiculous, that is. You might hit mine in there, but look, actually, let me up. That's crazy. Drops it in. We're birdie. Well, that's in the hole. Look. So we'll tap in. Look. Look. Oh, he's hanging on the left. Look. Did the job right there. Yes. It's no. Frank, it's been quite a journey to this point, but here we are <laughs> That's not right, is it? I left my arm. It looks like a dog leg left, or it should play like a dog leg left. You might stand on that tee and think that you can take the direct line. You can't get there from here, can you? Oh, good old main terminology there. So, the goal really is to uh, somehow find that fairway down the right. And of course, it all depends on how far you fly that tee shot on the line you take. From there on in, yeah. just a short eye. Um, and maybe a so, what I've done is, for the, the thumbnail speech, what I've done is, is I've taken a picture of your avatar. And then, with the software I have, I'm going to like do a kind of blue screen your avatar into the thumbnail that I do. So when it says moderated by Pooch, there'll be a little cartoon of you there. Well, your cartoon, you Abby. She's got a cartoon of Abby. Huh? She's got a logo. Yeah. And what's the logo? The logo is, I'll show you Pooch's logo. A little bit uphill. That's a logo for her channel. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you could do that on. Oh, that's yeah, lovely. it's a little tech end, Abby. Oh, wow, that's great. So you could do that. You could do very good. He's very good at this. Uh, mm. My dad's just saying that he thinks I'm very here. good at the sunlight stuff. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a pretty opportunity. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. I am going to start creating intros as well to the channel, like so. Um, that's another thing I want to do. I'm also going to be doing a lot more to camera content. Oh shit, it's going in. It's going in, the last hole, it's going in. Uh, oh. That's fine though, okay. Did they see that, did they? Yeah, yeah, she just saw it, yeah. God, it's this one this just requires, requires a little bit of focus. That is, a, sorry about that, Dad. Yeah, but it just, you get the news of all the lovely and you and have the same view. Yeah, I need to, question, how do I go? Look, look. How many times did that land on the yeah, I know. Like that? See? That's the thing. Yeah. 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 Frank, just some great golf. That wasn't actually. That's that wasn't a bad game. That's very good. Not game. often you play that. Of course, well, you wanted to know. And you feel like you were head and shoulders above the rest of the field. What a thrill to watch! And for Frank Navalo uh, and our entire try. team, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. So long for now, Rich. So long for now, Rich. Rich Lerner. Rich Lerner, how's it going, mate? Yeah, Rip Torn. Rip Torn. What a name. Rip Torn. Let's try Florida. TPC Seal Group. Okay. okay. Not going on. I'm there. Oh, God. I can't how you explain to you. If someone, like, knocked you on the leg. Jabbed you. A hammer. Yeah. And it's... Like yeah. your arm, you did that. Yeah. Did, did you have it? Yeah. It's like that. It's, oh my god, why is it like that? It's constant, it's just there. Yeah. And I've been doing, picking up stuff for your mum. I get up and I, oh my god. 
It's not a spasm thing, thank God. Did you carry that commode down? Yeah. You said, oh, leave it to me, I'll do it. Yeah. And you'd have fell asleep again. You yeah. Yeah, you went back to sleep. You know, because you do a lot of work there. Coverage, coverage coming, coming your way, way is, presented is presented by EA by Sports Ooh. and the PGA <laughs> Tour. Oh, God. Yeah, everybody licks their chops when they get the chance to play yeah. one of the most one famous one of the courses in the world. You know the stadium course is the CC Sawgrass in Huntabinger Beach, Florida. Frank, you where are the oh, yeah. opportunities on this yeah. big die layout? Uh, you can always look at the par fives, 2, 8, 9, 11, and 16. They yeah, some of them you know, but then that's, that's part of its charm. Yeah. The next best thing really is the short par fours. Oh, yeah, yeah, because we, we haven't played the tennis in a while, actually. Long Irish, maybe a fairway wood off the tee, and then a wedge shot into a green that... Uh, yeah, definitely. Put the ball in the right yeah, position to give you an excellent game. chance for there is a, There's a new boxing game out in VR. You had uh, Rocky, didn't you? Rock, Rocky's just come out in VR. Yeah. Now you had a game where you... You're yeah, that was ring, Rocky that? Legends. Yeah, that was, was amazing. Ro Ro that no, it was just called Rocky on the Xbox. Yeah, yeah. That was back on the Xbox. I, mean, uh, I wonder what it'd be like to now. Oh, it'd be amazing. Well, you you ought to see Fight Night. Answer, you know, Fight yeah. Night's incredible. You can play Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson, and yeah. it's incredible. This I'm just going to go and grab a drink. It's all about, isn't it? I mean, yeah. It's the future. Man. Oh, it is. Yeah. Just going to grab well, a drink, guys. People, more than people, because going to a football match now it costs a mint. Oh yeah, of course. And exactly. Plus the travel and the, the crushing and the noise. And yeah. It's great entertainment as well. It but is. Now, look at it, you've got it at home. Yeah, exactly. That's, you've got the cinema experience. Haven't you? The only difference is we don't get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It's like a cannon. You know, there's lots of chocolate in the fridge, though. You know? Frank, you want to get off to a good start. This approach shot here at the first is important. It is. Two distinct levels on this uh, this green. The high side on the left there and the lower side on the right. Um, if you're trying to keep that ball a little left of the uh, middle, you've got to be careful of that bunker on the left. And you know you want to have to have four lots of time sandwiches. And I thought it was a big green. Oh, my gosh. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. I'm ready for a second shot, trying to match on the green. I'm glad she likes it. she had another one. I said, she said, I could eat more, but she's not going to keep it. But David, if you don't, you have to hide them, maybe, because David and I'll do I love them, yeah. You know what I mean? Poochie's just asking what the plans are for tomorrow. Um, well, got to take my mum to uh, the eye clinic, um, um, which is in... Well, this is the kind the of, city of Bath, that where we the great live now. It's, um, it's the just like really posh kind of clinic. Really it's really quite a nice place, actually. It's like a really old school British house. It doesn't look like a, a normal clinic. It's like some old kind of Harry Potter building. It's unbelievable. It's uh, You get a lot of places like that around here, don't you? Absolutely. Look well, old. In the West Country, plus it's... Um, Bath is like the Roman. Yeah, it's a Roman city. Roman city. Yeah, the, right. It's got Roman springs stone. Springs and all that. Yeah, it's know? got one of the six natural hot springs in the world. Way back in forever, blah blah blah. Mm. The Romans, you know, they used the Romans. Yeah. Roman um, springs, yeah. It's got one of the six natural hot springs in the in on the whole planet. Um, so the water has this like. Uh, people travel. Yeah, from all over. people travel from all over the world to. It's actually the most beautiful city in the UK. Yeah, and that's just down the hill from us, isn't it, Bath? It's like we we, we live on this really high hill, which is um, the highest point in the southwest of England. And then down the hill, you go down here, you can walk. I've done a lot of times. You can walk straight down into the city of Bath, and but walking back, walking back is it because the hill's literally like that. It's unbelievable. But um, we're on a really high point up here. Um, oh shit. Well, that would have been a bonus oh, no. had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for a par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. But, uh, 
ba Bath is, is a beautiful place. But there's, there's a lot of really um, intro Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. I'm just talking about where, where I live here in the UK. There's a really interesting place called Laycock, which is very near us. It's a little village, and that's where the Harry Potter movie. Cheddar Gorge. But, um, Laycock is where uh, the Harry Potter movies were, were filmed at. That at least the, the parts in the school, the Hogwarts line, school. Even the rough on the right. Good team shot. I've seen people get home with uh, as little as five on. Lonely, not lonely. Doctor Doolittle. Doctor Doolittle was filmed here as well. The original really one from good. the sixties. Yeah. Very quaint, all the places. Old Shakespearean, George, and like two hundred and ninety yards. Yeah. yeah. Everybody call it. Um, what do you call downtown? Oh, caution. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, um, we've had uh, Poldark film down there and no, everything, and uh, uh, the remains of the day and stuff. And um, uh, Chris, don't worry about the, ho the whole 100 subs thing. You'll you'll get there, mate, honestly, and don't worry about it. If people are, are going to unsub, then you just don't worry about them. Seriously, they're not worth worrying about. You'll definitely get there, buddy. Dick, you're you're Dickens, 90. Town. Dickens, yeah. Dickens, Dickens, yeah. You'll be fine, Chris. Don't worry about that. You're, you're nearly there anyway, so that the people who will sub to you and the like next each. No, I'm just talking about Chris's channel. He does a really. He de dedicates his whole channel to Tekken. And, um. Tekken 2. Tekken 2. You've got to train for Geico East for the week. Oh, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, Good what my dad was saying Good uh, about here. Uh, the blah, 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 my brain's gone. Um, caution. Yeah, ca caution. Um, where we are here, this is where the um, what you call it movies were filmed. Um, the Harry Potter movies were filmed here. The village, what I just mentioned to you a minute ago. Yeah, Laycock. Still, look. Castle Coon. But you see the odd mate from this distance. Dickens gives us 26 feet. Yeah, from Castle Coon. Yeah, I'll definitely watch that, Chris, when you're streaming it. Training for Geiko East, that'll be amazing. Are you going to watch that, Pooch? Pickwick, Pickwick. Oh, Pickwick, Pickwick, the Pickwick Chronicles, yeah. That's right, yeah, Pickwick. Yeah. Yeah, I'll watch that, this Chris, like no problem. Right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Right on the side, the side, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Predator, how you keeping, buddy? Frank, I'm not Predators are other moderator. Right that's here. the guy. This is a Predator is hot. Jay. Good that's the guy I was uh, talking about all the retro games with. Good Remember line, when I was in the party last week? Oh God, that's going in, Dad. Oh, oh, that. Incredible shot. shot. Yeah, that was an amazing shot. You'll start at 6:45ish. Damn. That was a good run out. Mine was very close. There. Yeah. Hang on over the lip. It was. Hang on over the lip of the hair. There you go, man. <laughs> oh! I don't know how that went in. Get off your horse and drink your milk. Predator said you can be in the podcast as well, Dad, if you want. Yeah, talking about all the retro games and stuff. He said, thank you very much. Bless you, Predator. Thank you for that. Yeah. So that'll be 6.45-ish for you, Chris. Chris, I'll, I'll do my best to get on there, because um, I'd love to watch you train for that. That'd be amazing. Thank you for tuning in, buddy, and have a great sleep. To be a smart shot, How are you, Predator? Right? Oh. 
He's making the game look good. Super play. Play. See it, hit it. Now you got to get a hold of right on the track. Oh, good night. Good night, Chris. Have the best sleep, buddy. Good night, mate. My dad says good night. You're doing if good I don't today. I'll see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. <laughs> My dad said, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. <laughs> You're doing good today. Hey. Uh, Jay, you know you're on about um, the new PS1. Classic. Mini classic. I would look, try and look outside of the UK if you can get any pre orders. Like the Japanese website, the one we were talking about before, they're always good. Um, Play Asia. Yeah. Well done, good shot. Didn't hang on the lip. Are you going to get a PlayStation Mini Classic uh, pooch? Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, that was a bit of a thing, wasn't it? No, I, d I, d I don't know what, I just... You're something like, like, oh. Just got the, got the angle wrong. With authority, <laughs> count it. As a bar, and two one. Predator says he got a hole in one on everybody's golf on the PSP. Predator was saying he, he got a hole in one on everybody's golf on the PSP on the handheld. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, my, my dad and I, we, we love that game, it's so good. Hey Skylox, thank Somebody you for tuning had an in. Albatross. Yeah, I don't know how I got that albatross on there. It was an impossible shot, but obviously, yeah, fair it's play, mate, getting the hole in one. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. But you get a hole in one, yeah, it's Yeah. It's a great feeling, isn't it? You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ghost face and screams. Awesome. Not the longest, but not always bad. works. Two hundred ninety-five fairway. We'll settle. Yeah, what was your original idea, Skylux? You're thinking about it, Poochie. Getting about it. But first, it might be a PS4 or another PS3. What's up? Well, uh, well, uh, <laughs> that's what Poochie says, well, uh. <laughs> Oh, Leatherface, Jesus Christ. Well, uh, if I saw Leatherface coming towards me, I'd crap my pants. Well, uh, who's that? Uh, that's, that's the, what's that? That's the, uh, that's the Budweiser ad. We're on the phones going, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Every, everybody thought it's getting a VR game for PS4 next year. We're really looking forward to that. This is a position where the players are absolutely yeah. licking his chops. Virtual reality game. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah. This is when this game just looks like fun. Can't wait for it. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. That's in the hole, Dave. Eh? Really looking at right. That's in the hole, Dave. Eh? That's in the hole. Oh, it's just Leatherface. That'd be awesome. Right, well, I'm glad you're going. This. That'd be a little bit less scary. Frank, the second here at the fourth is a dangerous Ash Williams shot. should be nice, different ghost Once face. Again, Ash Williams would be cool. Ash brain. Williams would be Where great. Exactly is the flag? Leatherface, so. Christ, imagine seeing that coming towards you. Bro. Yeah, come on, that lucky when the sun's gone down or something, you crap yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good looking shot right here. Oh, oh yes! Yeah. I thought hole. that was going to go in. Man. Ash Williams, that would be awesome, mate. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Oh yeah, okay, I will do. Don't worry about it. Can I do it from my phone nice instead? Can I install Discord on my on my phone? Would that make any difference, or is it better doing it from my PC, brother? Uh, and with that putt, he moves to three under. Frank, the golf course toughens up right here at the long par four fifth. Yeah, when you play it off the, the, the back tee, 470 yards, it's nearly 320 yards to that last bunker down the left side. That really has to be in the back That's of your mind. Right, ideal tee no, shot, mate, mate. a little left or right. Like Baby D. Baby D, she's, uh, she's an Aussie girl and she's, uh, she turns into our channel every so often. And this guy's a channel, isn't he? G'day, mate. Here's a gun.
Blurby day, mate. Better doing it from your PC. Sweet, Frank. Super. I actually made Ash's Chainsaw, but then I just went what was my favourite scary movie that I realised what I said. And I chose a ghost face. Yeah, fair play. No, no, I'm just... We, we measuring out the distance, are we? 307. 307. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Mm -hmm. Frank, this is the way you draw it up. This is how the game's supposed to be played. Yeah, so far, everything going according to plan. Yeah, I have a, I do have a headset. I've got a, um, I've got this headset. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yeah, I can use this for the, um, uh, got a Bluetooth pair here. Can use that. Can't see it probably. Yeah, there you go. Um, my dad actually, bless him, found those ones. She got up for the moon for sound because she's hard of hearing. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. That's worth getting. Made the chainsaw out of cardboard. I bet that looks amazing. You'll have to do like a, a little vlog about it on your channel, Sky. Oh, which reminds me, Sky. Um, I downloaded your... Um, I've got your uh, six-man battle royale. These watch. Keep the, keep the round together. together. Uh, has it got a mic on it? Um, no, it hasn't actually. Good pipe, okay. But I have got a pair with a, a mic on them, so don't worry about that. Yeah. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Four under on the deck. Yeah, I've got, she did just six on Battle Royale, season two, episode one, didn't you? What's in store for us here, Frank? Another one, really, where you're just trying to poke it down there. When you stand on that back tee, there's an overhanging limb that you just get an eye of. So if you try and hit that ball a little too low, that's going to encourage a miss hit. But your season two trailer looks amazing, by the way. How cool is that? He has given this one the full treatment, perfect release from the ball, and this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Yeah. That's amazing. Guys, while you're at it, go and check out um, Skylock's, uh, you've got to check out his, um, his wrestling intro video. Gonna keep it going here, Frank. Yeah, another example of the thing. It looks just amazing. As they it's should. so cool. It's such a great intro. I love it. You surprised no one asked who it was at the end. Who is it at the end? Hang on, I think I know who that is. Is that? Okay. Hey, that's in the hole. Hey. Good swing, good, good shot yet again. Oh, I told you! Oh, it's a good shot. I knew you could have kept this eye. You are. A very tall, a tall shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. 
Right now, the second shot here at hole number six. It's not overly long, but be very aware of these palm trees that are short. Many a shot caught those trees coming into this green. Yeah, it's the guy at the end in the red t-shirt. That's what I want to know. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. The, the guy in the red t-shirt at the end. That's all right. Hi, Spider. Thanks for tuning in. Spider always asks after you. Come on. Spider's from Brazil. Remember, that's the guy that we were talking to yesterday. Be a lack of concentration or focus. Thank you, Spider. Who is it anyway, Skylocks? Because uh, the person at the end. Oh, how did that mess? With the red. Kid, I mean, that one was dead center. God, it was dead center. Yeah. Tap in. Okay. He's going to be a huge story for my Halloween special. Look at that. What? That's sick. It is. I know. Did the job right there. Give me, give me a clue. Mm. Now a On the podcast, you'd be playing Solo Blade. Oh, you missed. I'll probably. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. I imagine. What a day it's been. Um. Seventh hole here at Sawgrass. Oh, thank you, Scott. I'm sorry. Cause I steal my head in. I'm trying to figure out who it is. Much longer version where when you it's the, it's the, the red T-shirt and in the red. Straight away hole, but that fairway goes to the left and it comes back to the right. I don't know why I'm thinking this. It's not Dante, is it? Sorry, this is a completely random guess, but no, I know it's not, but... As in Dante, the one with the dark hair in, in 5 and 4. You'd be playing Soul Blade, Predator. I'll probably be... I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Imagine I'll play... Oh, because Soul Calibur 6 is coming out, isn't it? Obviously, so... Great shot, Dad. You okay? How's your back? Frank, you've been there. What's the best way to approach this next shot at the seventh hole? There's a lot of mounding on this uh, seventh green, you know, to the right and the left. You can use those mounds to kick the ball yeah. to the flag. I'll take mum. Excuse me, I'll take mum tomorrow, and then you can relax. Right mm, just a beautiful approach. He's a demon. You an no, of course I don't. <laughs> He's a, Good look at the green. He's a demon from Hades, he came from a portal and he brought a bunch of horror movie characters with him to massacre on a show. I won't say his full name, but his nickname is the Ascender. Ah, oh, right, okay. I got you. Oh shit, that's going to be amazing. Skylux, that's amazing. You can tell your history on Solar Blade on the pod on the podcast. Oh, Jesus! Singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. And getting ready for the putt. Sorry. It's all right. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. You can I know. See it? Yeah. In for par. Well, you're playing good. Good. Frank just 17 here at TPC Sawgrass. Yeah. Gets all the attention when you look for par three. Justifiably so. Well, but number eight is a daunting it's challenge in its own right. It is. Longest of the four par threes. Plus, it's just littered with bunkers around the side, the back, and the front. Oh, he doesn't think that's a good shot. <laughs> Frank hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspace. Reginald D. Hunter. I mean, you know, right? 
<laughs> you can tell your history on Solar Blade on the podcast. He's a demon from Hades. He came from a portal and he brought a bunch of horror movie characters with him to massacre my show. I won't say his full name, but his nickname is The Ascender. The Undertaker. Good shot, Dad. It's better than mine. Chubby shot. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. I'm miles away from the hole. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, that's right. Oh, God. How you doing, Spider? <laughs> Shite. Oh, David, I should have... Really, that was close. David, look at me. Birdie chance here. Very long putt though. <laughs> Gotta be a little careful if it gets a while. Yeah, well, absolutely. When do you want to do the chat on pod on on, on on PS4, Predator? Oh shit! I know. Kind of a tricky read. No, you can bad and good. Are you still? Are you feeling any better? Uh, spider. Spider was really unwell yesterday. Oh, how you doing, mate? My dad's just asking how you are, Spider. How are you now? Asking if you're doing any better. Yeah, he was puking up yesterday, poor old Spider. Didn't help. I was playing VR. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to do a podcast at the weekend. Like Predator at Skylux. Great like shot, by the hot. way. Eighteen-footer. Predator's oh, great though, he gets the community bug. together. Oh, do that! Why did I not miss? Yeah, if you guys have a chance, check out Skylock's uh, trailer right, done. This really is one of my favorite parts. Thanks, Mr. Dad and Veris. <laughs> no, we hope you get better, buddy, because I know it's not nice when you're when you you're feeling sick and. Have you been eating? Have you taken? Plenty? Yeah. My, my dad said drink lots of hot water, Spider. Do you still feel quite? Uh, I was going to say, when you guys have a chance, check out Skolox's uh, trailer, his wrestling trailer. In fact, yeah, I'm going to send a, I'm going to send a link for Skolox's trailer. It's a good spot right there. Send a cup. There you go, there's a, a link for Skylock's trailer. Great shot, by the way. Ah, oh, Spider said it's fun being on your, your guy's streams. Yeah, we appreciate that. Thank you, Spider. It's good to have you guys on here. Yeah, as my dad said, oh shit. My dad didn't say, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, Poochie says likewise. Nice. It makes the attraction of when you go online and do these things. It's you know, it's just nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nice to be nice. Nice to be nice. Thank you, Poochie. Can't Pucci. be nice, just don't bother. As my dad says, if you can't be nice, just don't bother. But, you know, that's that's the great thing about this little community that we have going in each other's channels and stuff, is support each other, you know? Like I was saying about, you know, Skylock's doing his little trainer and stuff and... Mr. Ball does not make Mr. Phil. Predator does a lot of great stuff. Off, 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 rough. P Predator said, Third I'm going to bed now. now. See you tomorrow, mate. Tell your dad he's a good friend to me as I'm a retro gamer for life. Oh, 
Thank you, Jay. You're a star, mate. I really appreciate that. Jay loves his retro games, like from the 80s and 90s. He's, a, you know, the games that we grew up on, on the Atari and the Commodore and and the Sega Genesis and all the retro fighters. Oh. Oh. I know, it's amazing. Sleep well, Predator. Th and thank you for your support, mate, as always. That's a brilliant shot, well done. With hindsight, yeah. Yeah. Settles in over the pot. Oh, and it's got a great one! Yeah, the result, get another bird or two. Yeah, indeed, Spider. Have good dreams. Predator. I have a plan for him when my bucket is filled and get out into all the candy. My mum's back here. That's funny. Well away from the fairway bunker that runs all the way down the left. said when because they're all doing that Halloween thing over in America, which is a big thing. And he says, empty all the candy into a bucket and then go and get some more. It's more of a, an event over there than it is here. Oh, it's a big, big thing over there. Yeah, it's oh, massive nice. in the States. We don't... It's, uh, what do you call that? Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. No, but the, the, the film. Uh, Krueger. That was Halloween. Oh, no, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis, 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 Curtis running about. But he's going dressed as... Halloween. Yeah. Horror movies, remember? Yeah. That's what, that's what he's on about. Yeah. He's, um... You're on about, uh... Um... Because Skylox is going to go dressed as uh, the ghost face from Scream, but originally he was going to go as Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and Freddy Krueger, yeah. That's in the Halloween, of course. Oh, no, sorry. Sky Skylox is from New Zealand. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, big one. Uh, Predator just said... One more message before he heads off. He grew up with the Mega Drive and the PlayStation 1. Oh, wow. Well, Mega Drive. Well, we've got the Mega, Mega Drive, Drive collection, Predator, which I, I stream every so often with Street of Rage and stuff. Um, the Vic 120. The Vic 20, and we had the Sega, the yeah, Sega Master really System, yeah, which was before the Mega Drive. My dad loved the Mega Drive, didn't he? Yeah. My dad's favourite game on there, my mum's favourite game, was uh, Moonwalker, the M Michael Jackson oh, game. Oh, yeah, great. Remember that? My mum loved that. She spent hours on it. It was a story, and oh, just... Every time you'd, you'd save a, uh, the, the little girl, she'd go, Thank Dancing you, Michael! Yeah, yeah. Amazing. What a story yeah. they had on TV on that game. PlayStation 1 was fantastic as well. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That would be a great looking you grew up with the 1990s movies PS2 and Coca-Cola. <laughs> Three best things ever. Second shot 1990s movies PS2 and Coca-Cola. PS2 was a great machine. PS2 was a classic machine, it really was. PS1 and PS2. <laughs> Memories for me and the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. Yeah, totally Predator. We're going to have to do more streams from the Mega Drive collection. Take care of business. Instead of like Adam Partridge Man. there. He of pissed me foot in a spike, Lynn. So a Yeah, a hot of the Lynn of pissed me foot in a spike. Oh shit. Wow, he got oh, it. No, it's like it's kissing your mother in law. <laughs> it's like kissing your mother in law. <laughs> this is what I thought he, he said, I loved every time I turned my PS2 on. And I just hearing the loading sound. Remember that? Do you remember the intro to the PS2, Dad? You had that. Um, you had the. You know that. 
PS1 games. It, make me, it makes me feel old now. That's what we were just saying. PS1 games were, they were fantastic. What was, remember we used to play International Superstar Soccer on the, on the PlayStation 1? But my dad's favourite game on... My dad's favourite game on the PlayStation 1 was, and I'll always remember this, Die Hard. Do you remember the Die Hard trilogy? My dad used to spend hours in... Yeah, when you go up and knock the tummy plaza and you go... Do, 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 do. They were great! yippee ki motherfucker! <laughs> I open the lift, I'm searching, looking for guys. Looking for guys, and then you and then you go on to the next level, and you get to yeah. Die Hard trilogy on the PlayStation One. What a game! You had Die Hard One, Die Hard Two, which was a first-person shooter, and then you had Die Hard Three, which was the car game. Dragon Ball Z Spider, and Pokemon. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's that's the. Yeah, it's pretty much same with. Uh, me when I was a teenager, to be honest with you. You go, I, I love, I love Yu-Gi-Oh, and um, Batman, and obviously SpongeBob. Well, we all love SpongeBob, and we all love Batman, and we all love Dragon Ball Z, and Yu-Gi-Oh as well. To be fair. Now you look down, and there's a frying pan on the end of the shaft. Yeah, it looks like Grandma's skillet is That's what it is, but. Yu-Gi-Oh! Like doesn't get the, the credit it deserves over here in the UK, and I think uh, Predator would agree with me on that. It's very popular over here, but it's never acknowledged, which is a shame, because, quite frankly, I think it's amazing. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Uh, uh, it's gone with the wind. Predator just said... I played the first Tomb Raider without saving the game back in the day on PS1. That is pretty oh. impressive, Predator, considering I couldn't get past the first level without saving it. That, God, the first Tomb Raider, what a classic game that was. Oh, that's amazing. When they come out, that was the biggest attraction. It Tomb was. Raider, wasn't it? They yeah. Were to, to the, the, the three games that sold, yeah. the three games that sold the PlayStation 1, that's the original right. PlayStation 1, were Tomb Raider, uh, Ridge Racer, Yes. And Wipeout. They were the three games that cemented the PlayStation. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That right sitting up. Sitting yeah. up. It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars I remember crying and running to my dad and Frank, saying SpongeBob died just because I saw SpongeBob being sad. Good chance to make a <laughs> Oh god. This game just looks like fun. Batman and Spud. <laughs> Squadwood Squarepants. Yeah, Squidward right Squarepants. Just the flag. I, I still watch it now. It's it's brilliant because we have it on reruns over here in the UK on certain channels, and it just cracks me up every time I watch it. Wow, Frank, he is dialed, eh? Yeah, like I, I love the film with David Hasselhoff. It's brilliant. All right, Frank, the eleventh is a reachable. What's the right strategy? Oh, well, it bless. feels like that green I made a cry of running to my dad and saying, right "Bob died." Makes the player aim left. It's such a narrow green, but it's worth the risk. Oh. The first time I ever cried at, like, a, a, an action cartoon, shall we say, or, like, the first cartoon I ever cried at was Bambi. But uh, you're supposed to cry at that. But I remember when I went to the, to the cinema to watch um, Transformers, the movie, the original... Sorry, Dad. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Um, I want to watch the original animated movie in 1986 in, the, uh, in Ireland. Right I was only eight years old, and I'll never forget this. Really down there and make sure when um, drop a when Optimus Prime died, uh, that was horrible. I was I was unconsolable because I had the Optimus Prime. You remember Optimus Prime, the, the truck who turned into the robot. Remember, I had the, the when he died in the cartoon. I was in bits. My mom had to console me. It was for my eighth birthday. No, my sixth birthday. No, seventh. Sorry, it was just after after Ray died. So I remember. Um, I was oh God, I was inconsolable that Optimus Prime died. What's the key here? Once again, trying to find that right position on the fairway, and that's down the right side. Anything down the left, that mound is going to block your view. Yeah, there were. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You're getting the first Tomb Raider on PC at some point. De definitely do it, Predator. You're going to do a speed run. I'd love to watch that. 
he's going to do a speed run on Team Red and complete it really quickly. We'll watch that. Listen, have a lovely sleep, Predator. Take care of yourself, my friend, and thanks for your support. And you're a moderator in the long with Peachy. You two are the dynamic duo. Thank you. Not on the fairway here. This could be a tough shot coming up next. Squidward Squarepants. Now the approach to the 12th, Frank, what's the player looking at? Well, it's a fun shot here for the second shot, especially if you've driven it down the right side, because then you can see the flag no matter where it is. No problem, Pete. Ooh, shit. On the green, looking at a birdie opportunity. Frank just into that first cut. Yeah, it's sitting up, um, really, this isn't, this isn't too bad a situation. I will, I'll send you a message, Predator. No, oh shit, no problem. Absolutely, buddy. Taking my mom to the clinic first, so we'll be back a little bit later after that. Shit, just rub things. Just an amazing display, the records continue to fall. Frank, you think about the great putters of all time, I, I think the one name that generally jumps up with golf aficionados is Ben Crenshaw, and he learned to play and to putt from his beloved longtime instructor, Harvey Peening, who taught Ben and Tom Kite and some others to play from, as he said it, from the cup backwards. You know, everybody loves power, we all like to drive it a long ways, but Harvey stressed the importance of the little shot. In the pullback. Obviously, it paid off for Ben Crenshaw. Pure strike, good result. Right, you think you won in the morning, so he's won. No problem, Predator. I appreciate it. And good luck. <laughs> Don't go losing any wires, man. I'm, I'm, I'm always doing that when I'm playing more, like, different things, or... You put. I'm, I, what am I like, Dad? When I'm putting stuff away, cleaning away, oh I, I just God. put stuff in a corner like this. I've got the pro box here behind me. Got my Fortnite back there. Oh, this the pro. In the heart of the green. Oh shit! Good. That was a good shot, Dad. Yeah. Thank away. you for your kind words towards my dad, Predator. I appreciate that. <laughs> Bless him. He said, retro gamer for life, he said to, to you. My dad's got so many stories to tell of like video games from the 70s and the 80s. And you, like the games he originally had on the VIC-20 and the Atari, and we had the Grandstand, which is the original dial switch one from the 70s. If you ever want a litmus test at TPC uh, Sawgrass and who's playing well, check the tee shots on 14. But, but when, when I first met my dad here, uh, he used to bring over Atari games for me, Cuba. You know, that was the first game he bought me for my Atari, and I was like, this is amazing. And I've got Cubit now on the PS4. I've got, I have Cubit on the PS4, which is a great game. I'm loving that balance. Oh, Frank, there's a lot to factor in on this approach at the 14. You can favor right side of this green and sort of allow the really bad, contours of the green just to move that ball to the left. I'll put some gel on in a minute, Dad. be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Pull back. You shouldn't pull back. Well, it's up. He's easy. complete command of his golf ball right now. You have lots of stories. You have lots of stories. Predator said he's got lots of stories about 90 games as well. Uh, that'd be awesome. So looking forward to it. It's such a good idea, Predator. Fair play to you for doing this. Oh, that's going in, Dad. Oh, 
the back. The back. The full back. Just went ahead. Just went ahead. Locked in on the read and the speed. We have a. We have a. Um, I've got lots of stories to tell you about Games Master, the TV show with Dominic Diamond. Oh, jeez. No matter how close it goes, it's an extra shot. That one will definitely hurt. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? But he has it for Bernie. It's a big crowd. Unbelievable. I did it last, I did it last time to say, well, I don't know why I'm doing it. That's what, what I'm doing, I'm rushing as he did. Has this now, now for bogey? How about five under par for the day? He tied. No, I'm not tired, just so. Frank, the 15th hole certainly has the respect of the professors. But you're right, this is a positional hole where uh, just keep the ball down the left center. You can't go too far, though, because you'll get blocked out or you'll run I know. the fairway. Well, that's why you've got such a massive it's really crowd. It's about knowing where the flag is. Yeah, it's huge. Position on the screen, because this is another green that's not flat. If the second shot lands on the wrong portion of the green, we'll finish well away from the hole. You'll have to get... Oh, yeah. no, it's, it's got even bigger now, isn't it? It's, it's unbelievable. Absolutely. The depth of the crowd. Uh, that'd be great, Predator, because I'm rubbish at blocking. On Street Fighter 4. That's my, that's my main downfall in that game. Long and straight, that's how you do it. No matter how hard I try, I just always seem to fail. Really is the great equalizer, isn't it? Yeah, there's no sport like it. I can't imagine going to Wimbledon and playing, you know, sort of uh, Djokovic or Federer or, you know, playing Put NFL it. with Peyton Manning. Don't worry, Dad, you stay home tomorrow. You golf. We can go out to the golf course. We decide uh, what our handicaps are on the first tee. We decide who's going to get strokes, and then off you go and play. And you play on a level play. I'll take my mum, don't worry about it. Getting set now for the approach at the 15. Yeah, good looking second shot here, but you've got to be precise. Uh, hardly a flat spot on the screen. This is a good looking shot. <laughs> Tell your dad about the Street Fighter uh, Street Fighter Four match w w where we had, yeah. Um, we were having because Predator and I, Predator's amazing on the Street Fighter Four. The, yeah. the, we're on five now, obviously in the in the series, but he's oh shite. He's well, teaching hurts. me how to play it, but wow, we had a cracking game yeah, before. Good. It was so close. But, how can you teach it play? You got a, a good or a not? What do you mean? But it's Predator, like yeah, Predator's brilliant though uh, in Street Fighter 4. He's got all the because he knows how to pull out all the so the block the combos. He's going to teach me how to block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my God, some of the moves Predator can pull so out is just unbelievable. Yeah. Predator's what I would call a. A pro player on, on Street Fighter. He, he just he's got a, an arcade stick. Remember, you were talking about you wanted to get the arcade stick. It was Predator who introduced us to that. Um, 16, and Par 5, 16. Oh, you're back. You, you, you can. You have to. You have to get them um, online. Fred made that there's, a spe there's a few specialist shots and stuff, but. Hole bends a little to the players left. You don't have to hit drive here if you're a long you. header, but you really must move that ball right to left. You wash your eye. Spider, he's the one who's sick. He said he washed his eye. Is it all sore? Is it? You got? Have you got some conjunctivitis, Spider? By any chance? Excellent looking shot here. Predator is amazing on Street Fighter. He's really good. He's got the arcade stick. He's super quick. Like when you're playing against Predator. 
on Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition, it's it's amazing to play against him because he's so quick. And you're like, <laughs> Predator will tell you this. When I play against him on on uh, Super Street Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I'm constantly pulling back all the time because it's the only way I can get him moving. But, uh, you know, it's learning, isn't it? Because when you play against people like Predator, Set it teaches you how to... Exactly, you won't get any better unless you play the best. That's why I enjoy playing Predator, you know, because he's, <coughs> he's, he teaches you, just by playing him, it teaches you how to play the game. Uh-oh, this one's going left, Frank. Into the tall cabbage, that ball is swallowed up. It's hard not to scratch your eye, it's very itchy. Uh, Spider, you did the right thing by now washing it, but I tell you what, another good thing is if you get a damp um, cloth and just rest it over your eye, that's a good thing to do, isn't it? Like a, like a, a like a, what do you call it, like a, a you know, a hand cloth or, or something, like a small one that you would use to, to rinse or something. You Cold water. Sort of yeah. Water is the best thing. Hey, if you put like a cloth, it means that uh, you tend to probably put some material in the eye. The eye is so sensitive. Though. Yeah. What a spectacular <laughs> shot that was. What? He'll have a look at Eagle. You've got a chance of an Eagle, isn't it? <clears throat> You'll you need to be strong on like this. It's Do what you're doing, just bathe it. Just bathe it. My as uh, Predator just said, you need, you need to get one for you and your dad in arcade stick. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good all day from this distance. So, when just you play a fighting game with an arcade stick, it, it takes on a whole new life. No, uh, no I'd go in more to the right. Bit more, and then up. No, go a bit more to the left. Bit more to the left. Uh, no, I go a bit more to the right. Sorry. That's it, up, straight up, 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 there. Yeah, Predator is an yeah. amazing teacher. Yeah. 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 You played. Frank not to plant the seed of doubt, but we mm -hmm. must deliver the facts here on this telecast. Yeah, you played a lot of fighting games as a kid. That's why Carnot's Revenge, to me, brings back the most memories of Predator, like the original one, you know, from the Neo Geo days. I would be in the arcade playing that for so long, because it was in a specialist arcade when I used to go to hol back on holiday to Dublin and Ireland, and I never thought I'd have the chance to actually own it at home, especially with the same scan lines and everything, so that was a massive... Do you know one arcade game I really want to own, Predator, is um, Superman, the arcade game from 1987. Well, this one should be safely on deck. It's a Tato game. You cannot get, they'll never release it because of copyright. But I'm sure you can play it on emulation. But I would love to own that Superman game, even, a, even in an emulation version. Because I'm obviously being a massive Superman fan. I remember playing that in the arcade thinking, oh my god, this is like the greatest Superman game ever. Poor Dave. There's a hole in one. Yeah. Hole in one. Hello, Dave. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's annoying. It is. It's so far. I seriously need to download Mame on the PC, yeah. Oh, Nine. shit. <laughs> miss up with attack. No problems there. He keeps the round going. Keeps the momentum on his side. Now to the 18th hole. Oh, oh, TTC saw it around. 162 yard par four for Frank. And another example of visual intimidation from the designer, Pete Dye. Those wooden bulkheads that go all the way down the left side of 18 give you like an optical illusion, Rich. And there's not a single fairway bunker on the right to give you something specifically to aim at. So you've got to fixate on one of those trees. This is not a hole where you want to be looking at anything other than I will. a specific target. Up He's the big boys now, Frank. Predator's on about downloading so MAME on your PC because you can play loads of emulation of arcade games on there. 
Excuse me. Well, <coughs> streaming games. <coughs> streaming games now. You can send Killer Instinct one and two arcade rom an email. Can you? Holy shit! Really God, I'd love that. Second shot here hey, Pooch. You have to be decisive going in here. You can see all the trouble in front of you. Water left. That mounting on the right. Neither place really is good to go. Oh, what a so pound of balls there. That's a bloody good shot. shot. That's a bloody good shot. I'd love to stream that shitty from the PC. You know we can stream that. We should start streaming from the PC as well. Streaming games from there. One more good swing. Kira and Sync 1 and 2, that would be incredible. Hey, how, you, how you doing Pooch? Boom. What does OBS mean? Predator. Uh, pardon me for being so rude. It wasn't me. It was my food. It just popped up to say hello, and now it's gone down below. Oh, shit. So, I pooch. We have family on here. Shouldn't be a problem here. Good shot, well done. Lovely last shot. Lovely last shot, I should say. Ah, oh. oh, you... You bastard, you. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Oh, it's not over yet. Over. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Just there you go. Well, thank like you very much for a wonderful game, Dad. 14 to 10, there was only 4 next. God bless. Right Guys, now, my dad is going to bed now. Um, I'm just gonna uh, give him a hand a minute, guys. Uh, it helps you stream and record your gameplay. Uh, just download OBS. I will do that. Oh, oh, OBS is for game streaming. That's great. Guys, um, I'm going to start a new stream in a minute. Um, probably going to do Astrobot VR. I know you're going to bed, Predator. But uh, I'll be... I'm just going to... He's gone to bed about an hour ago. Huh? He's gone to bed an hour ago. Yeah, Predator said he eats because he's enjoying chatting to us. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, download OBS. Hang on. OBS and... That'd be amazing, Predator. Hang on, Dad. Right, guys, I'm just going to help my dad because he's in a lot of pain. And I'll be back um, in the next stream, okay? If that's alright, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll be back on soon. And I know you've got to go to bed, Predator. But Poochie, Spider... Uh, Everybody else who's on here, if you want to follow me on over to Astrobot VR, I'll be there. That'll be great, Predator. Okay, I'm just going to go and help my dad, okay, guys? I'll be on the next stream soon, okay? Peace.